Being from Australia, I get about 300 ping to most Minecraft servers. But I also have a lot of experience in low ping. So I wanted to make this kind of talking about the differences between high ping and low ping. I'm gonna try and keep it as factual as I can and not really bring my opinion into it. So this should be pretty unbiased. Let's start with the advantages of having high ping. Whenever you fight against someone on high ping, you might notice that they take really weird knockback. Normally it's that their knockback is delayed. So they'll take the same amount of knockback, but it's all a little bit later than you would expect. Now this actually is an advantage to the high ping player because it can make them really hard to combo. This mostly has a big impact in sword PvP. If you're struggling to beat high ping players in sword PvP or any game mode really, probably my best advice for you would be focus on critical hits. Going for like a W tap combo against a high ping player is going to be really hard but you can still crit them out the same as you can anyone else. So going for crits, punish crits, they're all really important. There's some players, like there's one guy, play perfect. Whenever we play, my ping is like 10 times higher than he is, but he can consistently beat me in sword PvP, which is my main mode. But some people just have that play style that can counter high ping. You just have to play against a high ping player differently than how you would against a low ping player. You have to be keeping that in mind and don't focus on combos as much. That's probably the only real advantage. High ping players can also teleport, which can be really annoying to deal with, but that's normally due to their internet being bad, whereas I just just want to talk about high ping as a result of living far away from the server. Now things that affect both players evenly, so this will affect both the high ping and the low ping player. The most notable one is reach. So if you've ever played against me, you might notice that sometimes I hit from really far away. Like, <laughs> holy shit, I'm actually hacking. And this is a result of, on my client, you're still within three blocks of me, but on your client, you've already moved away. This might feel like an advantage to the high ping player, but this actually goes both ways. So the high ping player will also be getting hit from really far away from you. And it's all because of their client is not in sync with the server. You can probably see it happen a lot in my videos where someone hits me from like five blocks away. They're not hacking, it's just because of my ping is bad. But yeah, that's something that people normally think is an advantage to the high ping player but it affects both people the same way. The other thing that affects both players is any block that you can move through like cobwebs or lava, water. If you place cobwebs on top of a high ping player they might move through it without getting slowed down and this is just because on their client the cobwebs aren't there yet so they don't get slowed down by it but you can see like when I fought Clown Pierce the same thing happens to the high ping player so me the high ping player places cobwebs on him and he just moves out of them without slowing down because they're not there yet on the server side. So this one affects both people. All that's really left now is the disadvantages of high ping. And they're all a bit smaller, but there is a lot of them. Pretty much everything besides for movement and placing blocks is gonna have delay on it when you're high ping. So if I eat food, there's gonna be a delay before I actually get my saturation. Or if I put my shield up, there's gonna be a longer delay and people can hit me through it. If I place a crystal, there's a delay when it places because it's an entity. And then when I break it, there's another delay, which means I can only like place and break two crystals per second. Whereas on low ping, you can place and break about 10 per second. If the high ping player throws an ender pearl, there'll be delay. The really annoying one for me is the bow delay. If I shoot my bow, there's gonna be a pretty long delay and that makes it really hard to hit your bow shot. Cause you have to like really predict where the person's gonna be. I know that you have to predict even on low ping, but it, it's worth on high ping. Playing a lot of Sky Battle recently on MCC Island, I've noticed that if me and a teammate take an item from the chest at the same time, my teammate will get it first. Which is a bit weird because sometimes it will look like it went into my inventory, so I'll think I have a diamond sword, but then it will just randomly disappear when like my client syncs with the server and it realizes it was just a ghost item the whole time. Probably the most frustrating thing is that the low ping player will always land the first hit. So assuming both people hit each other, they don't miss, and and they're both three blocks away from each other. The person with the low ping is gonna land that hit first on the server side. So in kits that take a while to play, it balances out over time. But in kits like the battle box kit, where you can die in three crits, it can be pretty disadvantageous to the high ping player. But overall, I think it's pretty even. High ping, low ping, it seems quite balanced in most modes. Mind Manor said something similar. He said that um, 1.9 plus sword PvP is the only thing where high ping have the advantage. Pretty much everything else lower ping is better. And I think that kind of lines up with my experience. So with high ping, you take weird knockback and that makes you better at sword PvP. But for most other things, it's a small disadvantage. But overall though, I think the one thing that the high ping and low ping players can all agree on, the game would be better if everyone could just have zero ping.